Hi, this is Sharon at FitInFun.com and I'm going to show you some information about my Google Analytics so that hopefully you can look at yours and get some information out of it. Um, presumably you have this set up for your website or blog already and every time that you open it, this is the screen you're going to get. It's the last 30 days um, described by day how often, you know, how many people came each day. And you can see on this certain day I had 143 and that was due to some references that um, my friend Beth gave me. I think she put some stuff on her blog here and then I got the result. Um, and you can see I've been pretty flat. I was working on it a little bit over here trying to get going again and then I've been flat um, from the end of the month because I've been working on other things besides traffic and my traffic is um, unusual in some ways because I have mostly direct traffic I don't have a lot of referrals from other sites everything that I get is pretty much from uh, the keywords that people find me for and this is an anomaly at this point in time but hopefully I'll get more referrals as time goes on um, <coughs> So you can look at all your statistics here, which tell you, you know, how many people are coming back. And I think I have usually run around 10% on that. And uh, of course you want that bigger. The bigger that is, the more people come back just for you. And I do have subscribers and I do have some people, but I haven't gone after that statistic at all. Um, the one that I've gone after is this one, bounce rate, that you see I have about, uh, this is for the last month, I have an 81% bounce rate, which is uh, good compared to what I used to have before I started working on it, which was over 90, like 92, 93. When I first started looking in April 2013, it is now almost October 2013. So I've put some time into it, and I've reduced it 10%, so I feel really good about that. What bounce rate means? When it's 100%, it means that the pers person didn't stay for more than one page. They came, they looked at that page, and they left. That meant they bounced. As soon as a person looks at two pages, they're a zero. Those are the only two choices. And then your bounce rate comes between the combination of those people that came, how many stayed for more than one page, and how many just left right away. When you have an 80% bounce rate, that means that out of every five people, four of them left, one of them stayed in red. And so back when I was at 90%, out of every 10 people, nine of them were leaving and one was reading. So I've improved and I'll do a video on that sometime. So those are just the top statistics. And then down at the bottom, it tells you automatically what languages the people were reading when they came, if that's an interest of yours. And in my next video, I'll tell you what I do instead of looking at this. I hope that you visit fitinfun.com and fit fun into your life, too.